So this is Beaver Falls. Actually, I kind of wish I'd come up here with you before. It's peaceful. Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, the state of his arms. <laughs> I thought you were going to get that thing removed. Stop that! It hurt bad enough getting a tattoo! Last one in has to sit next to me on the plane home! Come on! Get it off! It's our last day and I want to see some cuts! On the old man! Oh. <laughs> Mate, that is a beautiful penis! I don't say this to a dude, but I want to see your ass. I want to see it in my ass. Why did you tell them? It's a valuable Look, life lesson up, for them. Get... Perils of getting tattooed Stop. whilst drunk. Look, in enough! OK, million dollar question. Bearing in mind we're in California I-8, can Arab pull off his very own Hollywood ending at the prom tonight, or does he fuck it all up like the British one? Yeah, whatever. Don't see anyone else here in with a sniff tonight. Well, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> what? You all look your card. <laughs> And she's back. I thought you might need a hand packing. Those cripples got to stick together, right? Go on, take a seat. So, how are you feeling about going home? Like a turkey on Christmas Eve. Honeymoon's over, right? Back to reality. What? It's just whichever way I look. I don't see anything to look forward to. Mm. Maybe you need to set yourself some goals, like coming back next summer. <laughs> Not exactly wheelchair friendly, is it? We both know there's a very good chance you won't be in a wheelchair. No. Might be worse. Yeah, or it might be better. <laughs> Flynn, you can't do this alone. You can't just slap the grin on, pretend like you're OK. You have to tell Barry and Arab. You're keen today. I can't believe this is our last lesson and you're still this bad. Thanks. I owe it all to you. Barry. Look, hold on. Just, just hear me out. Look, I get that there are a million reasons why nothing's ever going to happen. So for once, I'm not asking for that. I'm just saying it would be an honour to go to the prom with you. And I'd be a gent. I wouldn't look down your top or, or sniff your hair or anything. But I promise you'd have a laugh. I, I know that you're still down about Jake, so if I can just cheer you up, that'd be enough for me. I'm sorry. It's still no. You'd really rather go on your own than go with me? I just don't want to. OK. I thought it was worth one last. It seemed like a good idea an hour ago. Nice titties. <laughs> so you want back in? Mm -hmm. You gotta lose the lard, right? Mm. And do initiation again? You got balls for that? Of course I got the balls. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and the boys want to give Jake a little leaving present. Show Barry up for the loser he is. What kind of present? <laughs> Later, bitch tits. 
You're back. Goody. <sighs> what do you want, Lily? I have a problem. Just the one? More of a moral dilemma, actually. I know this girl who's stringing this guy along. Nice guy, but don't be, but still, he's totally into her. But here's a killer. She slept with his best friend. What a bitch, huh? And the real doozy is, she makes a living spouting cozy homespun wisdom, telling other people how to live their lives. Lily, I'm not in the mood for games, okay? Neither am I. I just want to know, what's the moral thing to do? Do I let the lie stand? Let the poor Patsy keep wasting his time? Or do I take the tough love route and just tell him? You wouldn't dare. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I would. I like me. I just think, what the fuck am I doing in my life? All the time. Oh, such a dick. Of course, she said no. Of course. I watch too many films. That's what fucks me. All that hope. Time to grow up a bit. I'm gonna go home, get a haircut. Hey, buddy, I don't need to change a thing, all right? You're a fucking legend. <laughs> I'm serious, look at me. Whatever happens, don't stop being you, all right? Just barry on. Barry on regardless. What are you trying to get off with me? <laughs> just, <clears throat> just trust me. Okay, but I do need to talk to you. Wyoming or bust? Bloody hell, Barry. That E, it wasn't there 20 minutes ago. Promise. Look, I did some thinking while you were in hospital, and I really don't want to say goodbye tomorrow. I, I don't want that to be it. So? Let me drive you home. You know, I'll change my plane ticket and we'll have a road trip. You know, an adventure. Have I totally misjudged this? No. I would love to hang out with you more. Uh, I'm... Is there someone in your trunk? Oh, Arab! Thank God! I thought it was done for. Oh, yes! Very funny. Very mature, Jizz. That was hilarious. Have you been listening in the whole time? Yeah. And, hey, dude, you suck this cat's no shit. All right, oh. enough, enough. Just a, a yes or no, please. Just to shut them up. I'll get arrested. <laughs> oh, what? They've all been done. Some fucker's broken in. Jake. I bet it was fucking Jake. Oh. He wants to see your weenus. I'm sure someone can lend you some yeah. jeans. I'm not surprised it cut Let me. Up. I mean, look at them. Looking good, B Dog. Saw you with the jocks earlier. Tell me, if you had to put Barry in a clique, where would you put him? I don't know. I'm... Nerds, I guess. Yeah, nerds. Yeah, sounds about right. And Flynn, would he be in there? We seem to do all right, though, don't we? See, it doesn't matter who you mates are, so long as they've always got your back, yeah? Anyway. Looking good. Hey, Thurston. Take a picture, yeah? Three of us. Yeah, ready? Yeah. Hey! Oi! Look at that's Barry's. Oh, not anymore. Come on. Nimo's here. Move it, ladies. What am I gonna wear? There's plenty of old costumes down the prop store. Might find the tugs in there. Yeah, Smalley, go tell the limo driver we're gonna stop on the Do lights. we really need a limo? Yes. We're making a statement. 
This is how the chunk bunk rolls. Bye, <laughs> right, boys. Hey, body on, yeah? And you, try not fucking up Rachel, huh? You're not coming in the limo. Got some packing to finish. Metaphor, one mm -hmm. suspects. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Well, I didn't have a tux, and then I saw this, and I was like, hell yeah, we have lift off. The jocks are going to... Fuck the jocks. Who cares? I like it. Anyway, what's this thing you lot are planning? Is it uh, a knife throwing you? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, a dirty protest? All we'll say is it's going to be off the hook. Flint done us proud. They all regret spurning our amorous advances now. What's your loss, ladies? Because we're fat and we're all that. Right, we're here. Job luck. Fucking hell, mate. I'm not going in the limo is exciting, but it's not that exciting. <laughs> Look, it's called puberty. You're going to start having certain urges. Shut up, Harry. What am I going to do? I don't know. Strap it down, maybe? <laughs> nah. He's a crack one off, right? I find thinking of Simon Cowhell. <laughs> What? When you're crapping one up? No. <laughs> I'm trying to wither. Now please don't. That's <laughs> not funny. I want it tonight to be perfect. Mate, you'll be fine. Listen, we're gonna hide you away until it goes down. And she'll never ever oh. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Hey. Wow. You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Any chance of a hand? Thurston flowers, please. <laughs> you could have a nice eat. You okay? Yep. Just an old sport injury. Oh. Uh, here, these are for you. Can I take that? Yep. Thanks. Oh. The perfect gentleman. <laughs> oh. No. Wide load. Nice work, dude. Barry looks like a complete asshole, and Jake is going to love it. Can't see no chubby, though. Uh, yeah, you can't see it through the, uh, the suit. But I spiked A-Rap as well. Yeah? <laughs> Above and beyond, bro. Now that's locker room style. <laughs> you can ditch the deadbeats. Oh, provided you lose the weight. Ain't having no bitch tits in my locker room. What are you doing up on Spinster Road? Here. Don't believe the hype, honey. He's only pretending that he's over you. Honestly, I couldn't care less. No? Of course not. You know, in his day, Bobby was a great catch, too. I swear he was. Captain of the football team, and he had that whole stare thing going on. Didn't last, though. What happened? Oh, I don't know. He stopped playing football, and the stare thing got creepy. And then you realize he never made you laugh. And just the sight of him depresses the shit out of you. Doing this year after you. you know what I wish someone had told me when I was your age? Don't underestimate fun. Okay, dumbass. Time to go What now? Dress code is strictly black tie, buddy. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh. So, you know what pisses me off the most about you, Brits? Huh? Is this. Mistaken belief in the power of irony. Doesn't make you smarter than me. We can only use big words. You celebrate failure because you have no other way of dealing with what you see in the mirror. There is no fucking triumph in being a loser. Well, you should know, Jake. Now let my date go. You have your date? Yeah, my date. You'll have me. Barry, mouth shut, remember? Look at it. I mean, look at it. You can do better than that. Not tonight, I can't. Now, unless you guys are into hitting women, I suggest you go back inside. 
You know, there's a system in this country and it works. People who look like me screw people who look like you. We have beautiful babies and, and the whole country gets better looking. And someone like him comes along. Pollutes the whole fucking gene pool, sets us back years. That's not American. That's what it is. Okay, don't get too excited. No one's polluting anyone's gene pools. I know, I know. You're just doing it to make Jake jealous. I'm cool with that. Yeah. By the way, you, you look like a princess. Thank you. I mean, a proper Disney princess, not one of our horse-faced British ones. <laughs> Shall we? Yep, I'm having a great time. Aw, don't you two make a lovely couple? Say, where's Flynn tonight? Uh, I don't know. Would you excuse me, please? I just need to go to the bathroom quickly. Poor boy. Still in the dark, then. Ooh. Let's go easy on this. I get very loose-tongued when I'm wasted. I swear, these kids get worse every year. You look beautiful. I assume you're here for this. It's 50-50 down the line. Not as much as usual, though. It's a bad year. I can't do this anymore. This arrangement. Well, that's... Well, that's great, honey, because I hate it, too. I, I just want us to be a, a normal married couple. I think we should sell the camp, go our separate ways. <sighs> Don't you ever feel like moving on with your life? No. Well, these six weeks are, uh, are what I live for. They get me through the rest of the year. It's not good for you. Pamela... Uh, all the best uh, moments of my life have happened here. My first kiss, down by the lake. My proposal, our, our wedding day. They were all a very long time ago. Pammy, I'm begging you, please don't do this to me. This is all that I have. I know. Okay. It just won't go down. It's like the terminator of erections. I find ice helps. It might be worth a go. While I'm here, could you help me out with something? Well, it was either this or Pocahontas. So. <laughs> we can't start without him. Have you guys seen Arab? No. Have you seen Brandon? If he cared that much, he'd be here. Hi, it's Flynn. Leave me a message. Flynn, it's me. Uh, are you with Arab? I can't find him, can't find you. Look, I need to speak with you. It's urgent, so call me, please. OK, time for a change of pace. Yeah, we have a request here from Chunk, Chunk Bunk. Oh, Lord. I have no idea what this is, but it could well be a disaster. And they say. Step aside, all you punk ass bitches, and get ready for the jelly. Okay, do me a favor, yeah? No matter how bad this is, just whoop with me. <laughs>
Okay, admittedly, I'm pretty drunk, but you're not nearly as bad at this as I thought you'd be. <laughs> really? So, uh, when do I get to see this tattoo? Uh, let me think. Never. I don't want that to be your last image of me. You show me yours, maybe I'll show you mine. Yeah, right. I've spent most of this summer perving every inch of you. We both know that you don't have any tats. Are you calling me a liar? Gentlemen, may I suggest repairing to the limousine to toast our success? I've acquired the finest bubble of peach snaps money can buy. Ooh. I can't believe Flynn missed it. Hey, Brandon. I, uh, well, I thought your dance was pretty cool. Really? Thanks. It's Grace, right? Yeah. You know, I used to think you were kind of a douche. But that was funny. Really funny. You want to dance with me? Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, it's just, um, I promised my friends I'd do this thing, but I'd be back in, like, 15 or... Okay, cool. I'd like that. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, man. How to go on. minutes. Why? Are you okay? Oh god. Did Lily find you? No. It's just complicated. Era, we need to talk. Do we though? I mean, right now? Yeah, we do. Oh gosh, how can I put this? I made a mistake. A horrible mistake that I regret so much. And now I've got myself in this impossible situation. Yep, know that feeling. OK, look, I slept with someone. The night that Simon came back, oh. the night that you slept with her, I slept with someone too. Uh, again, maybe now's not a great time. Flynn. It was Flynn. I'm so sorry. But you have to know that it's my fault, okay? So be angry with me. Hate me all you want, but just please, don't take it out on him. Oh! Oh my. Are you okay? No! No, I'm not fucking okay. What exact part of this is okay? Do you want me to get you some warm water? Mm. It's a friendship. Friendship? Friendship. It's like looking under one of Smalley's teats. Oh. 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 I'd imagine. Okay, fuck this, I'm out of here. <clears throat> what about all the friendship stuff, man? Are you kidding me? What about boobs? They trump all that shit. Okay, just let me out. <clears throat> Shit! Ch 
child lock. Excuse me, driver. Driver? Go! Ayla! Yeah? He's waiting! Stop! He's waiting! Don't on me now. Okay. But you're not allowed to look and then claim that you're nauseous. Barry, get him off. I did warn you. Oh, would you look at that? Wow. So, uh, who is Ross Kemp? And uh, why do you hard him? It, it's not what I asked for. Mm -hmm. You know how some people get their name done in Chinese? Well, I thought I'd get mine done in binary. Very. You know, ones and zeros? And then Arab and Flynn, they slip the fucker some money to do that instead. Barry, turn around. Oh, boy. Oh, you do have a tattoo. Crumbs. Now come over here and apologize for calling me a liar. Uh... Do I really need to spell this out? Yeah. No, I mean... Look. I've never done this before. We don't have to. No, God, no, no, no. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. You, naked, in the glow of a computer screen, it's everything I ever dreamt of. It's my Hollywood. So what's the problem? I just... I don't want you to expect much. <laughs> Barry, it's you. Of course I don't expect much. Oh. You know you just lost them, right? You reduced yourself to a knot. It wasn't like that. Oh, no, it was special, wasn't it? Just the way you always dreamt. OK, enough. You're being sanctimonious. Well, at least I'm not a fucking hypocrite. Hey, Rap, you slept with your ex the same night. Yeah, and I came clean. But you, you let me grovel. Do you know how guilty I felt? Let you fucking asshole! So which line did you use? Because if it was the Ugandan orphanage gap here, you're just the latest in a very long line. Oh, he's not here. Probably off slipping it to someone else. I'm sure she feels special too. Is this Flynn's bed? Well, you should know. Arab, all his stuff is gone. Oh, fucking typical. No, Flynn, don't stay and face the music. Just skip town, leaving a trail of spunk and tears. Arab, I know that you're upset, but just shut up for a second. He didn't know I was going to tell you. This isn't about you or me. It's always about him. It's always about Arab, him. Arab, please, just listen to me. I'm scared he's going to do something stupid. There's some stuff you need to know about Flynn. <sighs> this is amazing. Better than Call of Duty. Look at it. Yeah. Really, really good. Barry. Whoa. Ira, what the fuck? Go away! Mate, I'm so sorry. Go away! Get out! Get out! This is... I'm so sorry. This is everything I've ever dreamt of, ever, and you're ruining it. What? You don't really think he... I have no idea! This is fucking ridiculous. He could be anywhere. We'll, uh, we'll search the camp. If he's here, we'll... He's at the falls. Come on up. Oh, Please, help! Mate, do me a favour and take a step back, eh? Because you're shitting me up a bit. I mean, you're not honestly going to do this, are you? 
don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Why didn't you tell us you were ill? I just wanted things to be normal. Just a little bit longer. God, you really are full of shit. If you actually wanted this, you'd have done it already. Because you're an impulsive, unthinking prick. Oh, God, shut up. What? He wants us to act normal? Fine. This is how I act when people fuck me over. You know about you and Rachel. Well, we can work this out, right? I mean, don't use it as a reason. Oh, he's not going to jump, Barry. He's just feeling a well, bit... Fucking tell me how I'm feeling. Oh, I'll tell you exactly how you're feeling. Theatrical. Shall I just quietly take some pills? No, I know what. I'll go and stand on a big fucking cliff where the wind can ruffle my hair. Yeah, a cliff which you told us about. Fuck off. No, you fuck off. All right, off. all right, both of you. Got no idea what this is like. Everyone talking about the future. You know, what's in my future? My mum feeding me like I'm a fucking toddler. You find out your best mate's dying, and what do you do? I have a moan about some bird you've known for six weeks. That's not the only thing I'm angry about. You should have fucking told us. Oh, see, this is what pisses me off. Why am I the one feeling guilty? Because you love feeling guilty, mate. It's your favourite hobby. All right, shut up. Just shut up. No, we don't. I listen to you. Play me some fucking courtesy. Okay. You have to sort this out because, no joke, I am fucked without you. I, I had no friends before I met you guys, except my brother. You know, I, I was so chuffed that you actually wanted to be mates. And then when my brother died, you two got me through it. You talked to me like I was still me, like we were still us. And, and you never stopped taking the piss. You've got no idea what that meant. You got me through my worst time. I will get you through yours. And honestly, mate, anyone who is genuinely going to kill themselves does not stop on the way to do their hair. I didn't. Just have good hair. That's what happens when you pay for a haircut. He's ill. You can't punch terminally ill people. We're either treating him normal or we're not. You can't have it both ways. Right, well, does anyone feel any better after that? We should do this again sometime. It's about McKimberley. Get him. Mate, I've got everywhere. You're kidding? No, no, I can vouch for him. He's unbelievable. <laughs> Am I still a virgin if I didn't come? Sorry? Well, hold on, you're not honestly saying you didn't pop it till last night? Yeah, hence the running joke. <laughs> but the joke only works if you're not a virgin. <laughs> Shit, we've just been bullying you for three years. Yeah, and I don't care. I just want to know, does it count if I didn't spaff? Yeah, it counts. Of course it counts. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, mate. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Oh. Help! 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 Oh, you two are supposed to be watching our back. Uh, Negligence. Pure and simple. Uh, Half a mind to write a letter. OK, can't be doing this. Back in the limo. No, no. don't put me back no. in there. Please. Please. Uh, uh, What's that? You don't want to know. I don't care how stretched 
a limo is. Watching him shit in a bag is not living the dream. Thanks, the cameras. Please assemble with your luggage in 15 minutes. This is your 15 minute warning. Thank you. If I could uh, just have your attention one last uh, time as we lower the flag. I, I, I had some uh, words prepared to send you on your way, but uh, they're all bullshit. So instead, I'd like to tell you the truth uh, for once. Uh, your lives are not going to work out as you hope. Sure, you got a, a head start. Uh, you're rich, American. You got every privilege in the book. And you'll still find ways to fuck it all up. Uh, make yourselves miserable. Yeah, here's a, a, a fact. More of you will get cancer than will find true love. A few hundred years ago, it was all Native Americans around here. Within two generations, it went to shit for them. You think they saw that coming? Really? So, uh, here's a tip. Learn Mandarin. Seriously. Bobby, stop it. No, this is important. Your lives are going to be a crushing disappointment. And that's why Beaver Falls matters. Because you need things to cling to. Memories. From before your bowel went irritable from when your uh, erections weren't dysfunctional. So cherish every memory you have of this summer, because from here on in, it's all shit. <laughs> Thank you. See you next time. Fare thee well, and if forever, still forever, fare thee well. Philistines. Hey. Every time, Barry. Every fucking time. Really? It's all right, mate. Better wrap them in. Thanks, guys. Hi. I'm so sorry for standing you up last night. Hi. Hardly your fault about the limo. <clears throat> anyway, uh, you want to sit on the bus together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like. I like that. Yeah, oh, ah. chance of coming to my level. I was so scared last night. Come on, talk to me. I'm not much good at goodbyes, as you may have noticed. Besides, you guys have got more to talk about. You two gonna be okay? Yeah, we'll get there. 
think. Look, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. I really thought we had a shot at prom king and queen. Yeah, I know. Will I, will I ever get my hands on that sash? Hello, my lover. Starting to think you were avoiding me. Barry, about last night, I was pretty drunk, you know. Oh. I was really drunk. Right. Well, look, you might regret it, but I don't. You know, I'll always remember it. And, well, I just wanted to say I'm so glad I lost it with you. I'm glad you did, too. Yeah, knew it. Knew what? You enjoyed it as much as I did. So, you told yourself it was a one-off messy. A mistake. But it wasn't. And you may not realise it yet, but one day I bet you'll be back for more. Oh, really? And what makes you think that? Because there's something about me, isn't there? Something that horrifies you just a little bit. But the simple fact is, something about me makes your gash froth. <laughs> Barry! You really know how to ruin a moment, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> I should be going. By the way, last night with the freezer, that wasn't like a thing. No. I mean, I just wouldn't want you thinking that I had a thing. Look after yourself, okay? <laughs> so, Hollywood or? British ending. British. Very fucking British. You? Um. Mid Atlantic? You know you can swim, right? <laughs> You'll be wanking about me for the next ten months! I guarantee it! I've written you a poem. Oh, for the love of God. You're leaving me, Pam. And my heart is a mess. Consider this my state of our union address. Bobby, I got a long drive ahead. Okay, I'll just, I'll just, uh... I'll just skip to the last, uh... Last verse, then. So I got on the phone and I spoke to my lawyer. Says he'll take you to court and will fucking destroy you. Turns out your condo, your warren of lust, is actually owned by the Beaver Falls Trust. Of which I'm trustee, sadly for you. You sell the camp, I sell your shit too. So you want to keep the car, the life in Miami? Better come back next year. Hadn't you, Pammy? <laughs> See you in June. OK, there's still some stuff I didn't get about last night. How? How did you seal that deal? <laughs> a gentleman would never kiss and tell. Let's just say, Ross Kemp is my fanny man. So what? You're not going to get rid of it? Are you nuts? It's my lucky sex tattoo. I've got a 100% success record on that. Every single woman I've ever shown it to has got naked within, like, 30 seconds. Maybe you should get some of those trousers with the ass cut out. I might just do that. <laughs> Maybe you should get one done, eh, Rab? And you wouldn't have to bum freezers for kicks. I didn't bum it. Right, I went in the front way. Jeez, this is a virgin. Oh, I thought we'd laid that joke to rest. Mate, we've only just begun. <laughs>
So are you going to stay in touch with that? It's kind of awkward. I mean, Wyoming's a long way. No, I wasn't talking about Rachel. I was talking about the freezer. What you hear?